Welcome back to Not Your Regular Vegan. I am Amelia, if you already didn't know, and on this channel what I usually do is take regular meals that I used to love before I was vegan and turn them into a totally good, totally vegan meal. And so what meal are we going to make today? Before I get to that, I want to give you a quick reminder to, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. And also go ahead and share and as well as subscribe to the video so that you'll know when I post other videos about other meals that I've turned totally good, totally vegan. So what's on the menu today? Simply meatloaf. I wanted some meatloaf and that's what I made. I had it with um, a side of baked potato and some roasted green beans. Well, almost roasted green beans. You'll see what happened to the green beans later on in the video. But I am just going to show you guys how I turned the regular meatloaf into a vegan meatloaf. Now, in order to do that, we need two main ingredients. Now, the first ingredient that we're going to need are these little guys, which are called lentils. Now, in lentils, you can find them at any of their local grocery stores or Whole Foods or any store that you like to go to. But lentils are actually um, legumes or beans. They're considered beans as well. Um, they're legumes because, like many beans and other things like that, they grow in pods. And they are also a really good source of protein. So if you are uh, starting to be vegan or is looking for different sources of proteins, this uh, legume or these lentils are a really good source of protein. Um, so when you look for these in the store, you want to make sure that you get the green ones and not the red ones because the red ones, um, they come out a little mushy and they make for a really soggy meatloaf and soggy meatloaf is never good whether it is made from meat or whether it is a vegan one made from lentils. We don't want soggy meatloaf. So once you pick your lentils, make sure you pick the green lentils. I swear lentils, when I say the word, it brings out my southern accent like deeply, so so much so. So again, lentils. Uh, and another ingredient that we need, a main ingredient that we're going to need are these little guys here, which are called flax seeds. Now flax seeds are just that, they're real, they're ground up seeds, they're grounded up really fine, almost feel like a, a flour. And what we do is, we use these to make our egg substitute. So when you know you're making meatloaf, you need like an egg or a binding agent, and usually egg is that when you make a regular meat meatloaf. Um, so we're go I'm going to show you guys how I turn these flax seeds into a really good binding agent for um, to bind your meatloaf so that it sticks together really well and so that you can mold it into whatever shape you usually mold your meatloaf in. So since we have our two main ingredients, our lentils and our flax seeds, let's go ahead and I'll show you guys how I made a totally good, totally vegan meatloaf. Before we get started with our meatloaf, let's check out these ingredients. I have a whole bell pepper, which I am going to use the entire bell pepper. I'm just going to chop that up really well um, because I'm obsessed with bell peppers. That's why I used the whole one. We have some sweet onions, about a half a cup of sweet, regular sweet onions, two little celery stalks or sticks or whatever. Make sure you take the leafy greens off there, of course, and some scallions to give it an extra kick in flavor. I have, I'm also going to use some regular whole grain oats, and what that's going to do is add a little bulkiness, bulkiness and texture to our meatloaf. Now these are the flax seeds. Remember I talked about these earlier. The flax seeds, what I did was I put one tablespoon of flax seeds to two tablespoons of water and those have kind of been sitting for about five to ten minutes. You want to let them just sit so they can start to form like a gelatin or kind of like an egg yolk or egg what you need to bind your meatloaf together so you can shape it really well. Also, so it doesn't fall apart. And then I have applesauce, which is a weird ingredient for meatloaf, but the unsweetened applesauce is used to provide a, a little moisture with your for your meatloaf. And after that, you just want to get all of your seasonings. Um, however you would season a regular meatloaf with all whatever spices you like, that's what you would season it with. I use a lot of Italian spices, some um, garlic salt, garlic uh, onion powder, and things like that. And of course, lentils are the, are the most important part is that it's going to be the bulk or um, what we actually make our meatloaf out of. Now remember, before you get all these things, you want to prepare your flax seeds and your lentils first. 
So let's prepare our lentils. I have about two cups of lentils here to six cups of water. And we're going to boil these um, on medium to high. You want to make sure you boil it with the lid halfway off so that the water is able to evaporate from them as they're cooking because you don't want too much water left in your lentils. It'll make for a soggy lentil. Um, so you just boil these really until you see all of the water kind of gone out of the pot. And while that is boiling, we are going to chop up our veggies. And once our veggies are chopped, we are going to go ahead and saute them till they get a little soft or translucent. We're going to use these um, as part of our meatloaf um, for those who, who like sauteed veggies like I do, which is what you would usually put in your meatloaf. Just some celery, some onions, some scallions, and things like that. Or add whatever veggies you like. I see some with carrots, some with mushrooms. Just, hey, go crazy with it. Now, please forgive my burnt roasted green beans I was gonna have green beans with the side but I was editing another video and totally forgot they were in there and they, they are burned I don't even think I want them anymore now that our lentils are done as you can see that the lentils are done you want to sit them in a colander and strain them really really well again because you don't want a lot of water in them because that would make for a really soggy meatloaf and nobody wants soggy meatloaf so our lentils are drained really well and they are ready to go Now after we drain our lentils and lentils and make sure they drain really well, you want to put them in a food processor. So I'm going to put the lentils in a food processor and chop them up really well until they get like to a meaty, almost ground beef or ground turkey texture. Now you don't want to grind them too much so that they are um, too mushy because then they'll start to extract a lot of water and again, no soggy meatloaf here. So I am just going to chop these up with a I'm, I also use the pulse too you will see as I carefully put them in there making sure I drain any left off water um, that may in them that may be left in them and I use a pulsing action here because again I don't want it to get too too mushy I want it to have just like a meaty texture Now as you stir through it, you may see some of the lentils that are still intact and not mush, but that's okay because again, it's going to help with you having a nice meaty um, texture like you would with a regular ground beef or a regular ground turkey meatloaf. After that, we are going to throw it in our mixing bowl here and I'm going to start adding all of the other ingredients to the meat, to the lentil loaf basically. So as you can see, it looks kind of like a regular meat, not totally like meat, but because again, it isn't meat, but prom I promise you, it's going to have a really good texture and a really good flavor. You're not even going to be able to tell it is not meat, that it's actually a bean that you're eating. So now I'm going to add my grilled veggies. That's about half a cup of oatmeal, oat grains. And then this is a sauce that I made with um, ketchup, some soy sauce, and a little brown sugar. You can make your own sauce if you want, um, but that's also going to give it a nice flavor and texture. And here are our flax seeds. Those have probably been sitting for about 10 minutes, and it gives a really good gelatin yolk, um, yolk texture. Next, we're going to add in the whole cup of applesauce. 
and just go crazy with all of your seasonings. Now, unlike um, regular meat, it doesn't the the lentils don't have like meat fat in it. So you know, meat fat usually helps with the flavor. So with vegan food, especially if you're using beans or things like that as a meat substitute, you want to make sure that you season it really well so that you don't have a bland dish. You don't want to bland meat loaf. And because again, it doesn't have any animal fat that gives you flavor, you want to make sure that you do a really nice seasoning job on it. And it's okay to taste this um, before it's cooked because this is all raw food. So if you need to taste it to make sure you need a little, if you need a little bit more seasoning, just go ahead and taste it. Now we're ready to pour our meatloaf. I use just a regular glass bowl. What I have is um, parchment paper because who wants to clean this up afterwards? You don't want the food to bake on into the pan. So I always use uh, parchment paper, which will be easy for cleanup afterwards. So I am carefully just scooping all of my meatloaf into my pan or my glass dish. I believe that's a Pyrex. I love Pyrex things. ahead and scoop that off and I have tasted this um, and it tastes really really good it's seasoned well it's really really good and we want to just go ahead and mold just like you would mold a regular meat meatloaf Now on the top of this, I am going to add a homemade sauce that I make. Um, it is, again, it's ketchup, soy sauce, and a little brown sugar. Um, and it's really good, I like it. It gives it a nice sweet flavor, tangy flavor to your meatloaf. And I'm just going to add that on top of here um, so that it bakes with the meatloaf. Now if you want like a really smoky flavor, you can add some Worcestershire sauce, which, um, I should have did that because I like smoky meatloaf, but again, you can come up with your own ketchup topping or glaze recipe for your meatloaf. Gonna sprinkle some rosemary on top. And this is our meatloaf. It is ready to go in the oven and we are gonna bake it for at 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes. And ding, it is ready. That is our perfectly good, perfectly ready, totally good, totally vegan lentil meatloaf. Now you can have this with any side, baked potato, roasted green beans, any side that you like. And there you have it. Thank you guys for watching again. And remember to join me on IG at Not Your Regular Vegan. And go ahead and just smash that like button if you like this video. And see you again next time.